As the fear of a wider regional war looms, the deadly pages and walkie-talkie attacks in Lebanon believed to be carried out by Israel has put Iran on its toes. An Iranian member of parliament has made a startling claim. He has hinted that a pager, similar to the ones used to target Hezbollah in Lebanon, exploded inside the chopper of former Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, leading it to crash in May. The Iranian member of parliament claims although the type of pager Raisi used may be different from the ones Hezbollah had, but the Iranian forces played a role in the purchase of Hezbollah's, Hezbollah's pagers. The Iranian member of parliament has called Iran's elite revolutionary guard corps or the IRGC to probe the matter. Tehran's final inquiry into the helicopter crash has ruled out any sinister ploy or attack behind Raisi's death. The Iranian government's probe had revealed the helicopter crash was due to severe weather conditions, including thick fog, which resulted in the death of former Iranian president along with seven others. Amid the heightened tensions between Israel and Hezbollah, the IRGC has ordered all members to stop using any type of communication devices after sabotage attacks in Lebanon last week. Reports indicate the IRGC has launched a large-scale operation to inspect all devices and not just communication equipment. In contrast to Iranian member of parliament claims, the IRGC says most of these devices are either homemade or imported from China or Russia. On the other hand, Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar has been reportedly incommunicado for a relatively long time. Israel is probing the possibility that Sinwar may be dead. Reports suggest the IDF has brought back multiple bodies from Gaza for genetic testing to confirm Sinwar's death. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.